the light. What is your response to Jesus? Jesus is the light. Every negative thought you just experienced, every feeling that you may have had go through your mind, every moment of hopelessness that may have you know, gotten triggered in your head, Jesus comes to take all that away. That's why Jesus is so incredible. Jesus is the light. It's quick. Let's take a look. Who is Jesus? The light piercing the darkness. John 1, 4, 5. The word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. There's nothing like when I was little and I got scared of the dark, if my parents came in the room and turned on the light. Man, I'll tell you, I was so happy. I was so happy. Parents are like God when you're little. They can make everything go away. The light is so awesome. And it says Jesus is the light. So in the middle of all this darkness, what brings the light? Not your bright idea, not your degree, not your job, not your money. It's Jesus. He pierces the light. How are you going to respond to Jesus? In John 1 verse 9, the one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He came into the very world he created, but the world didn't recognize him. When Jesus came, you know why the world didn't recognize him? Because of darkness. Darkness gets upset at the light, it doesn't recognize the light. He came to his own people and even they rejected him. Okay, let's go back and think about what have we talked about today. Everything we talked about today are things that Jesus talked about. If we reject those things, we are in essence rejecting Jesus. He's the light. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. They are reborn, not with a physical birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. Why does a person repent and get baptized? So they can be born again, so they can leave all the darkness behind, so they can say, I don't care what I did yesterday. I don't care what I was like yesterday. I believe I can come into the light today and I can have a brand new life. What does that mean for those of us who look back at our family? Maybe you came from a tough family. Maybe you came from a family that was broken. Maybe you came from a family of substance abuse, of assault and abuse. You can be born again and you can say, my genetic heritage is from God. It is not from any human being. Your life is not based on your genetic nature. Your life is based on God's blessing to it. You just have to be willing to come out of the dark. You have to be willing to say, I'm not going to be deceived anymore about my life. Choosing darkness or light. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him. But anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only son. And the judgment is based on this fact. God's light came to the world, but people love the darkness more than the light. For their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for fear their sins will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what God wants. When I studied the Bible in 1980, a long, 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 long time ago, I started seeing it. I've got to come into the light. And I'll tell you what, back in that day, I think the sermons were a bit better. They weren't as stylistically good, but they weren't more biblically strong. And I was afraid to come in the light. But when I came in the light, I'll tell you what, I'll never forget when I learned about baptism, Romans 6. The guy studying with me said, so the way you take down the wall is you'll get baptized and you're buried in the water and then you're raised again to a new life. I'm like, what? I thought baptism was just like a thing you did. He goes, no. It tears down the wall of darkness, and then you go free. Will you make mistakes? Sure. Will you and I sin again? Sure. But we'll always be free. I remember laying in my bed in my dorm the night after I, or the night I got baptized, and I laid there, and the reality hit me. I don't have to wor worry ever again about my sins. I knew I would commit more, and I did, and I have, and I do. But I was free. All the thoughts and regrets I had of things I'd done when I was younger, I knew I couldn't fix everybody that I'd hurt, but I knew I could fix it, my life so I would never hurt anybody like that again. And I'll tell you what, people talk to me about the changes in me. I was no longer suppressing my emotions, I was expressing my emotions. I was no longer only about me, I became about other people, and believe me, that was a shock to people who knew me. I was voted most likely to be recruited by the mafia in high school, and I was just not that guy. Leaving the darkness. John 12, 44. 
Then Jesus cried out, whoever believes in me does not believe in me only, but in the one who sent me. The one who looks at me is seeing the one who sent me. I have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. When I worked in the inner city of Boston for a while, we were studying with a young man, two different young people. And one of the people we studied with, he was like so excited and he was studying, but there was Memorial Day coming up and he wanted to go to the beach. He said, I know I'm not a Christian. I need to become a Christian. I want to do it. I'm going to get on it, but I'm going away to the beach. We said, well, don't you think you ought to wrap this up before you go to the beach? No, 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 I'll do it when I come back. Another young lady was studying and she was like, man, you know, I want to be a Christian. I'm going to do it. She was at one of the best schools in the area, Boston Latin. She goes, I'm putting everything aside for the next few days and I'm going to become a Christian. The young lady became a Christian. She got married in D.C. She has three kids. One of them's on the brink of getting in the Olympics. The other kid died of a drowning accident. Now, yeah. funny how we just don't know when the time's going to come. And even when we think we're trying. Today is the day to leave the darkness. Today is the day to stop hating, stop being mad, stop hating yourself, and get free. When you break the bread and you take the fruit of the vine, which you'll do in a moment, that bread is the body of Jesus, that wine, that, that, that drink, that's the blood of Jesus. It's what allows you to say, I'm done. I want to be free. I don't want to feel this way anymore. And Jesus says, I take it all. Whatever you've done yesterday, today, or in the future, Jesus says, on the Christ cross, I take it all. Don't hate yourself. Let the hate be on me. Don't blame yourself. Let the blame be on me. And you know what God says? I will blame Jesus for everything you've done so that you can go free. That's the blessing we have today. And that's why the darkness cannot defeat us and cannot extinguish us.